let's get right into it. So with the year winding down, and I was looking back at some of my pictures and videos and stuff like that, and I really wanted to share some of my favorite restaurants that I've experienced throughout my travels this year. And so I've narrowed it down to the top three, and only one of them is here in Cleveland. The others are out of the state. So I wanted to kind of run those down to y'all, and I think that would be really good for y'all too because... Most of the time, I don't recommend too many restaurants because if I'm being honest, <laughs> I really only eat to survive. Like, I'm not a big foodie. I don't, I don't know. Food is just not that exciting to me. I only eat it just to eat. <laughs> so, we're going to run down a list of my favorites. We're going to start at number three. Number three is going to come from Chicago, Illinois. So I'm not a vegan, but this vegan restaurant was really good, y'all. It didn't give me any like nasty aftertaste. The texture was cool. The flavor was good. And I tried this restaurant probably back in like July of 2023. And it was so good. I was so shocked because... I'm not a big like vegetable eater and stuff like that. So I'm always skeptical of what it's going to taste like. And so I was convinced to, I didn't even want to say convinced. I wanted to try as well. <laughs> so, so I did try this vegan restaurant and we had got the pizza. We had some loaded fries, which we essentially made our own loaded fries and got everything on the side just in case I didn't necessarily like it. And it actually turned out really good. So here's a glimpse of the food we had in Chicago. Like I said, definitely check this place out. I also link my Chicago trip up above. So you can check that out after this video is over, of course. If y'all do try this restaurant, let me know how y'all like it. Drop some comments below. Or if y'all know any other good vegan restaurants, it doesn't matter where it's at, stateside, internationally. Let me know because y'all know I be traveling. And I look at the menu. I'm not going to say I'm 100% go to the restaurant because I don't want to lie. But I will look at the menu and see if it is something that I can try. And if it is, I would definitely give you a shout out in the video if I go to that restaurant and give it a shot. So that is my top three restaurant coming in from Chicago. My number two restaurant is going to be from home here in Cleveland. So this restaurant, I actually got hip to it from Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. No, I take that back. It was still from Instagram, but somebody sent it to me on Instagram and told me to check it out. And they did a good job. Shout out to y'all for um, giving me this recommendation. And I had the donut burger, y'all. Man, if I was a foodie, this would probably have been a time that like all like heart emojis and stuff was over my head because this burger was so damn good, y'all. I don't know if I was just extremely hungry that day, but the flavor on this burger was amazing. The donut was so soft. Like I was I was in heaven. Like I was in love with the sandwich, y'all. <laughs> This sandwich was so good. Like, I haven't went back to go get another one, but I ain't gonna lie. I do be tempted because I ain't never had no sandwich like that, and it was the best. Like, look at this sandwich, y'all. Do you see this? The, the deliciousness of this sandwich is amazing. And it was, I felt like it was reasonably priced. And the establishment is really clean. Customer service was good. Y'all can check that video out. I'm going to link it above as well. But definitely check them out and get this uh, donut burger. They have other things. Don't get me wrong. But I obviously didn't try. I just tried the donut burger. So check that out. Really good food there. And coming in at number one is coming from Dallas, Texas. So Dallas, Texas, I always heard that, you know, Texas got the barbecue and everything like that. And I was like, all right, it's barbecue, but how much hype could it really be around some barbecue? <laughs> but, y'all, this barbecue was 
amazing. It was so tender. I love how they had like all of the smokers and stuff out and you can kind of do like a little tour. They expressed how they cook the meat, how long it takes to cook the meat. It was so good. And then they had like just the line. So everything was a la carte. You pick whatever it was that you wanted and kind of eat it like family style. Y'all know that video is above as well. <laughs> Make sure y'all check them out. And just like the food was just so, so flavorful. I, I would definitely go back to Texas just to get the barbecue for sure. And check, check out a few other places, but this barbecue was so good. I did try another place. We're not going to mention them, but... <laughs> that barbecue was not good at all i did not enjoy it at all and i actually had left did not eat the i tasted the food but i didn't finish it and then i went back to um go give me some more of this barbecue like y'all it was amazing so they came in at number one because it was just so good even the size and stuff that i had was really good and I just couldn't believe it. Like, I had never had barbecue or brisket and stuff like that that was this good. Make sure y'all check them out. So, this was just a quick little video to run down my top three favorite restaurants for the year 2023. And that was it. That's all I just wanted to share with y'all. So, as always, gorgeous people, go out there, create memories that will last a lifetime. <laughs>